So in the previous tutorial, we learned how to take strings, which are in our files, and convert them into objects, which you can pretty much forget about that because you will not do that in practice. So you're going to use a module, either called Pickle or maybe JSON. Um, but in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Pickle and make your life so much easier. Now we can work with objects without doing all these crazy um, conversions with strings. Because, to be honest with you, that just doesn't make sense. All that conversions from strings to objects, which half the time isn't supposed to happen anyway. Um, so, in this tutorial, we're going to actually just take a look at the pickle module. And what's the pickle module? Well, this module um, takes objects, for example, a list, and converts it to a um, binary string. And what's a binary string? It's something a computer can read. Humans, not so much. Um, and this is re referred to as serializing, or in the Python world, pickling. And it writes it in a file, all right, so the computer can read it. And then when we bring it back, it converts that binary back to a Python object where we can work with it. It makes our life so much easier. It's going to cut out a lot of steps of when we work with files and saving data and whatnot. So pickling gives us the ability to save a lot of data where we don't have to do a lot of conversions. So it's awesome. So what is Pickle? Well, it's a module, all right? And how do we get it? Well, we import it because it's in the standard Python library. So let's go ahead and get started. Import Pickle, all right, just like that. Now we can use all of Pickle's functions and whatnot, all right? So as we saw before, we had to open a file. So let's go ahead and open a file. File. All right, file's gonna represent our open file. So we open or create a file, and I'm just gonna call this one test, and then we're gonna give it a, um, a file name of pickle. All right, yeah, like that. And then we're gonna do a mode of, remember we were doing write, correct? But when we're using pickle, it's writing it in binary, so we do wb, right as binary all right and we'll go ahead and, and open our file now we opened our file um, and it created a file if you're on your desktop which I am um, and now we can save some data to our file so let's just create a dictionary and we'll save that so we'll do person and person is going to represent our dictionary and our dictionary is going to have a first name and first name would be John. Man, type of idiot today. And then last name. And that would be Smith. All right, so now we close out our uh, dictionary. Um, and now we want to write this dictionary to the file. Now, we saw in the previous tutorial we used the write method well with pickle pickle we use dump like dump the data into the file all right so we'll do uh we'll call pickle dot dump all right and then here it takes two arguments the object you want to write to the file and the uh actual file so our object would be person and our file would be file <laughs> um see why i did that file file yeah all right so anyway now we got to close it to convert it to the hard disk. So we just do uh, file.close like we did in the previous tutorial. And now we want to read it. So we do file uh, open. And then we're going to do test.pickle. And then RB this time, the read binary for the mode. All right. Because if we left nothing here, it would just be read and return binary to us. Well, actually, we'll take a look at that because I'm not 100% sure what it would return to us. So let's take a look at this first and then we'll go back to that. And we'll do pickle uh, load instead of read file, load file. And then we just do person. Boom, there's our dictionary. Now, in the previous tutorial, you saw all these other steps we had to do to convert this, like um, using the eval method our function, I'm sorry, eval function on the string that contained the dictionary, well, guess what? We can just read it straight from the file, all right? 
Um, before we go any further, let's take a look what happens if we just do R. So I'm just going to copy this right here. Here, delete the B, I'll read it again, do person, do a little pickle, Not load, file, that doesn't work, all right, because I was curious, and that's how I learned things is by testing them, so that doesn't work, so you got to do RB, so it's got to be RB, and then person, and then pickle, load, which is our basically a read that we learned before, and then call person. And then we get a dictionary, there you go. All right, so it has to be RB to read binary. I wasn't sure if it was gonna kick back the binary code or not. All right, so we did that, that's pretty cool, right? Let's go ahead and open up our, um, our pickle file just to take a look at what binary actually looks like. So on your desktop, go ahead and open it. Um, I'm gonna right click on it, open with, and it's going to probably uh, tell you to either other um, or app store, use other, and then go to your text editor. So I'm going to pause this. All right, so I just paused the video real quick to uh, save some time. I open my text editor, and here's the binary code. All right, this is what is converted and saved to data, and then convert it back to something we understand in Python code. So that is binary code, and as you can see, I said, you know, you know, we couldn't read that, but a computer can. So that's the binary code. Now, there's no other, like, working with any objects, same thing we did today. So I'm just going to show you the dictionary to keep it short and sweet. If you have any questions, leave, a question, leave your question at uh, mastercode.online. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about my preferred method, and that's JSON. I'll see you then.